Today we are doing the seven fashion rules every woman should know. Honestly, I've watched so many videos, read so many articles, and combined with my 10 years of experience in a model and fashion industry, these I've learned to be the most important things you should know when it comes to getting dressed and feel your best and just go out there and rule the world. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell, hit the like, leave a comment. I appreciate all of that. First rule you want to follow is buying clothes that you can literally wear seven days a week. I refer to the capsule collection. We all know about it. So identifying the colors that you usually go to, the fits that complement your body, and really investing in those pieces are super important. Another tip that I can give you is to focus less on buying that one event item that will just sit in your closet and you know that you can't wear again because it's so specific or because so many people saw you and you can not repurpose. It's important to buy things that you can dress up, that you can dress down, that you can wear to a night out, but also go grocery shopping in. I have a lot of those items and with the years I've learned to identify those items and buy those and keep them and on the main level of my closet because those are usually the ones that I go for. If you guys want to see my top nine things that I wear the most out of my closet, you can check out the video here and you'll be surprised to see that there's not a lot of black out there. So capsule collection doesn't mean that it has to be black or gray. Okay, rule number two is one of my absolute favorites. I can't stop talking about it and I feel I've been preaching it for so long and it's honestly the best one in my opinion and that's borrow from the boys. Honestly, most of my outfits are somehow constructed from a blazer of Gary's or a button down that belongs to Gary's. I can't help it. I like to repurpose things. And you know what? There's so many gems in our boyfriend's partner's closet that you can put on yourself and style it in a way that suits you best. And it's amazing. You don't have to go and buy anything new. Just go in there. It's like a whole new universe of clothes. Also, men really buy nice pieces. They invest in them because they don't buy them so often. So it's a great perk to have a partner's closet to your disposal. Rule number three is learning your body shape. It took me some time, but I also learned what are the better parts of my body that I like to emphasize and which ones are not necessarily my favorite. So one body part for me that I don't like to put too much spotlight on is my butt. And it's not that I don't like it. I like it. I like all of me. Thank God for everything that I have. But I prefer to focus on other parts like my midsection or my legs. So you'll never see me really wearing really tight clothes. I usually have either a line or something more loose and that's just how I find that I feel the most sexy and the most comfortable and I think that's important also to figure out for yourself another thing that I've learned about recently is color analysis so color analysis is what suits you best regarding colors and what is the best combination of colors for you and that is based on your hair color on your eyes on your undertone if you guys want to hear a little bit more about this let me know I can do a more informative video about the subject rule number four honestly I feel like people don't talk about it enough and I'm so guilty of having that mindset that I've missed a lot of great opportunities to wear the outfits that I really really look forward to wearing so rule number four is stop saving outfits life is too short don't buy a dress that you're like oh one day when if the time is right when this is there when the stars align and then you never end up wearing it I started pushing myself more with wearing clothes that I always save for special occasions because honestly every day is a freaking special occasion actually one second This is what I'm talking about. Don't save your outfits. I've been waiting to wear this cupcake dress for so long, and now is the time. Rule number five is undergarments are so important. I feel like a lot of us don't pay enough attention to it, and I'm not saying that you have to go and invest in this like silky, sexy pieces. It's all about functional undergarments that will actually help make you look your best. So some of the most essentials are a nude bra to wear under white or see-through clothing, uh, seamless underwear, very important. 
underwear that you may need to help with some support or to make it all smooth and nice for you and then we also have a sticky bra in case you have something with a low back if you guys want to know all the top essential ones i actually did a video about the top 10 bras and underwear that i think every girl should own rule number six is the art of tucking a very overlooked tactic. There is a whole art behind it and there's so many ways to make an outfit look so much better if you know where to tuck and where to cover and where to pin. We have the front tuck, the navel tuck, the mid tuck, the full tuck, there's so many tucking. Look out for a video about it. I felt like that specific subject deserve much more time and spotlight and I'm gonna give you all my favorite, favorite tactics to upgrade an outfit just by learning how to tuck. Another point with knowing your body is when you figure out what is your body shape and what suits you best, it's really important to find a tailor. I can't tell you how many things I buy and because I know what looks better on my my body I'll go and tailor it according to that thank you guys so much for watching I hope it was helpful for you and I will see you next time to find out which eight items I no longer wear click here thank you so much for watching